Um, hello, this is now, um, again, working um, problem in our training chart, navigation uh, workbook 18, 18465TR. We're working problem 6-3, which is a running fix problem. And the uh, we have a, online already a video that solves it with an open CPN at all electronics. Now we'll do it with the old-fashioned way, parallel rollers and dividers. Or let's not say old-fashioned, let's call it traditional way. Okay, so it says we're starting somewhere here around Rocky Point, and we're going at 332M. And here's a here's the inside row, 332 is over here somewhere. So that's our route going up this way. And then when the log reads uh, 552, which it turns out to be pretty early in the game, must be, this has a bearing to this buoy here, is a 297 magnetic. Then we go a little further, another four miles, it turns out, and then take another bearing to this buoy, and it bears... Uh, 262. And the question is, where are we? That's a standard running fix. The only caveat to say, and we have this warning in our book, that we're doing bearings off of a buoy. And normally, we try to avoid doing buoys because they may not be where they're supposed to be. This happens to be a very famous and important buoy. And so it's probably on station, but you can't always be Guaranteed. But anyway, we do it because it's easier to do practice with uh, with more of these targets, buoy targets. And so, so we go. So we just start anywhere down here. Let's just say we're going to start right here at this point, right here. We'll just say that's where we're going to start, right like that. I just put a mark there. So then I got to get direction 332 magnetic. So I come over here with the, with the dividers and I find 330 uh, let's see, I double check what these things mean, and there are 10 in here, 30, 35, 340. So it's 332, it's right there. And then I 332, I'm right on it, I can plant that in there. Then I put this up against it, I rotate this till it just fits that cross right like that. And that's the orientation I want for our run over here. And then I just roll this over here to this point I'm get, it doesn't matter because we don't know where we are and I draw that line and that's our course line like that something like that and then okay so what's the first uh, first observation is a buoy is a bearing 297 so I come over here here's 270 270 280 290 297 right there let's see can I zoom in 297. See, I put right there, I plot right, put my finger right on it like that. Okay, then I come back here, ro plant it, roll this up to it, put this on here, and I've got that right lined up like that. And then I've got to roll without sliding up to here and uh, put the, put this buoy, there's the first bearing line. Now, I don't have to really draw this clear across here. I could just do something like that down here. But to be safe, you might roll this back and see if I use the middle line here, I'm, uh, I'm still 297. In other words, I'm using this rather than the edge, maybe a little bit better. Okay, so that's our first bearing. That was actually taken, if you wanted to write that down, that's at 552.4. You know, 552.4, that's that one. Now we go later up the road and our uh, next bearing is 262, 262. So I do the same exercise. I go to 240, 250, 260, 262. You need good glasses, either small print. It's actually sometimes this sort of thing's easier on electronic chart, but anyway, here we go. And so I put that right up there. That's lined up. Now I roll this up to that buoy. 262 and here is this that's that line so that of uh, uh, 556.4 556.4 so what do i know i know i and that and then subtract those two that's four miles 4.0 miles so i know when the log read this and the log is just an odometer like the mile odometer on a car it's miles through the water and so if there's current here if there's a current in this area, this is going to be wrong. So we have to clarify this, uh, this maneuver here, this type of running fix is assuming we know what we did between the two sites. 
So when the log read 552, I was on this line somewhere. I sailed four miles north and I was on this line somewhere, right? So all I have to do is find where, is the, where can I leave from this line, sail four, four miles that way and end up on this line, right? Let me just, okay, so let's go over here. Oh, we can't see that. Um, let me go, let me move this over. Wait a minute. Yeah, 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 I guess that works. Yeah, that works. So I need four miles. Well, here's five. There's five. One, two, three, four. Five plus four is nine. So there's exactly, with a, with a, that's uh, one, two, three, four. That's four miles. So you could do this. Let's say, I, let's say I was on the line really where I thought I was. I'll just guess that for the time being. Well, look, that puts me above the line. So I was not where I thought I was. So let me go, let's suppose I'm over here somewhere. That's even worse, right? That's even worse. So I was actually further to the east than I thought. And in fact, I can look at parallel to parallel. I could say already what the answer is. I'm somewhere right about there, right about there, right here, right? Because that's the only place I leave this line, sail in that direction 4.0 miles and end up on this line. But we have a more systematic way to do it. What you do is take any place on this line, let's take this point right here, and then just mark it right here, right? That's four miles. If I were here, I would be four miles there, right there. So then what I do is leave that there. Then I take this line here. I've got that lined up with that, right? See, I'm, look, I'm, oh, look what I did. Oh no, this is four miles. I'm not so, okay, but I, I'm lining up, sort of silly. I'm lining up this line. I'm not using the edge. It's a little bit more accurate to do it like this, right? Now, let me go back and put my mark. So here, there's four, right there. Plant it. Then I roll this up to here, and I draw this line, like this. Now, that line, that's advanced. So this is 552. This line, if we really did it right, we would call it 552 goes to, you put an arrow, goes to 556, you know, something like that. That's your notation. See, that's your notation of a running fix. And so then here's the fix, right? See, here's the fix right here. Well, I'm writing over the top of something I'm gonna have to read there, 45. I know I need to know the depth. Anyway, there's the fix right there. And so the answer is, how far is that from this buoy? I go here, I go to the buoy, which is there you know, right there, and I can back over here. Well, I get 4.1 mile, uh, let's see, five. I get 4.1, is that right? Yeah, I get, right now when I did it by hand, I get 4.1. I think, I recall from the electronic it was four, but anyway, I get 4.1, and then the answer is how far is this from this, from this buoy line right, from the top of this 10 fathom curve right here, and that distance is, over here. Oh, you're not seeing my, okay. Uh, one, oh. What do we get here? One, two, one, two. I get 2.3. So I get 2.3 here, and the depth of the water is 45. And then you say 45 what? And I come, how do I know what? I have to look here at the bottom of the chart. Let me move this over. Fathoms. Okay, so the bottom and the, bo the parts three answer is 45 fathoms. And that is the uh, solution to this by the traditional piloting method.